My name is Jennifer Davenport. Today we are standing outside of the Dallas Museum of Art. While there are many excellent pieces of art here, today my focus is on The Spanish Singer, an impressionist painting by Edward Manet. Let's check it out. A French painter created this painting with a combination of watercolor and graphite in 1861. This image is directly related to the original painting called Spaniard Playing the Guitar that is located in the Met. Manet translated this watercolor and graphite version from the original oil paint for the first owner, Antonin Proust. Manet's composition focuses heavily on shading and muted colors. The figure's weight is not evenly distributed. The worn condition of the man's jacket and sneakers imply that the guitar player is playing out of necessity. His face and hands appear weathered, like he hasn't had access to a bathing facility. The correlation between the guitar's black neck and the man's black attire, as well as the red strap paired with his red cheeks, implies the man's unity with his guitar. Although his hat and pose are tilted and unbalanced, the man's hands are firm and firmly on the guitar, symbolizing his source of stability. The man's expression is more jovial in the original and haggard in the watercolor and graphite remake. One could interpret his expression as daydreaming. I chose this piece because it reminded me of a more cheerful version of Picasso's The Old Guitarist. Manet was revolutionary for his impressionism, so I was intrigued with the subtle differences he made within a reinterpretation of his own work. The remake is murkier and more gloomy than the original due to the influence of etching and watercolor. The Spanish influence on Manet's style comes directly from Diego Velazquez, although Manet is known for taking cues from another Spanish artist, Francisco Goya. The guitarist is left-handed, yet the guitar is strung for a right-handed player. The diagonal of the picture moves from the top right towards the bottom left corner. The background is simple and the light comes from the guitarist which draws the focus on him. If I saw this man in person, I would be envious of his guitar playing hobby. However, through Manet's portrayal, I pity this guitarist. His eyes look lifeless, his hands are filthy, his clothes are wrinkled, and the onion on the ground leads me to the assumption that that is his only meal. I like how he is wearing a formal jacket and pants, yet he has sneakers on. This could either be an expression of his light-hearted personality or imply that he cannot afford formal shoes. According to Ali at the Dallas Museum of Art, Luc Toymans and other contemporary Belgium artists are heavily influenced by Manet today. Directly next to our work, The Spanish Singer, we can see another portrait Manet has created. His consistent use of chiaroscuro is what we can expect to find in the previously mentioned Belgium artist 